Bob's first time on snow. Bob, what do you think of this stuff? What do you think, Bobby? Welcome to ADV with Roscoe. My name's Charles, and you know this is Bob. So uh, this is Bob's first day in snow. Early in the spring, he was on a glacier, but it wasn't anything like this, just a little patch. So I think he's enjoying it. Bob, come here. Are you enjoying the snow? I think he is. So today's video is going to be a one-year review on the Chinese diesel heater. But first, let's take Bob for a walk. Bobby, let's go for a walk. Go get it, Bobby. Get up there and get that thing. You get it. Come on. Go get it. Get it. Go. Bobby, get up there and get it. Go get it. Go on. You got this. You got this. Oh, come on. Come on. Try again. You got this. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, Bobby. Come on. Get up there. You got it. Don't quit. Don't quit. Yeah, Bobby got it. Yo. Oh, good job, Bobby. Way not to quit. There you go. Yeah. Got it. People ask me all the time, is that just a poodle? And I say, no, it's not just a poodle. It's an awesome adventure dog. Tough as nails, it doesn't quit. That's what he is. Awesome adventure dog, it doesn't quit. Yeah. All right, we're back in the camper. Took Bob for a short walk in the snow, his first walk in the snow. Um, I think he's a fan. So I think we're even a better match. Bob, what do you think? You like snow, I like snow. What's not to like, right? All right, so let's make a cup of tea and let's get this uh, diesel heater. I just poured the water in the wrong spot. I was distracted. Water goes in here. All right, let's try this again. Let's put the water in there for our tea. I was all excited about the snow and Bob liking it. All right, what do I think of the Chinese diesel heater after owning it a year? I think a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Where are you going, Bob? You want to come over here? Want to come sit with me? Want to come sit with me? All right, I'm trying to do something here, but. Why don't you sit? Sit, Bobby. Bob. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. Ah. All right, what do I think? I like it. It's warm heat. It's quiet heat. It's dry heat. It's efficient heat. Um, it's worked out well for me. I did have a problem with mine. I had some fuel pump issues, but I believe I either got dirty fuel or um, I got tampered with, vandalized. 
because I have some sediment in my fuel tank. So uh, I had to replace a couple fuel pumps. They kept failing and I kept getting crap in the fuel pump. And so finally I ripped out that one for $110, $20. I ripped out that and just started all new because of, out of all my buddies that have them, I'm the only one that had an issue. So either A, I got bad fuel or um, somebody vandalized my fuel tank and put something in it. I don't know, but uh, I like it enough to put a new one in. So I'm gonna give you some stats. Because I think it runs pretty efficiently, doesn't draw a lot of power. When you initially start it up, and this is all based on um, my goal zero, what it's what it's telling me. Um, when you initially start it, hang on, let me look at something. It's pulling, um, it ramps up to like 7.6 amps uh, on, on the startup with the glow plugs heating, the fan running on high, the fuel pump running on high. It, it starts out pulling 7.6 amps. Now that it's leveled out and is running, it, uh, it only pulls, well, let me check. 1.4 amps is what it's pulling right now. And it's on the lowest setting. And trust me, in this small space, in the harshest conditions, the lowest setting is enough. But um, so 1.4 amps. And that whole process from start, from the startup to the low setting is about four minutes. And when I started it, probably six minutes ago, I think it was just under 50 degrees in here. And we're already up to 55. It's not cold outside. The wind's not blowing outside. Um, we've got a hundred degree dog in here and then my body heat. So I would heat up anyways. Uh, but I like it, super easy to install. Um, I trust it, it took me a while, but I trust it to let it run all day, all night. Um, I don't always let it run at night because I don't need it. I'm hot in here, even uh, when I had no heat. I did several seasons with no heat in this camper and in my uh, truck with just a canopy. Um, I have a minus 20 sleeping bag that I will no longer use. I'm gonna come up with another system. It's just too warm, even without the heater, even in, I think one time I got cold, but it was a cold night, um, but they're rare around here. So uh, I like the diesel heater. I give it two thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask me. I'm not a techie guy, I don't sell them. I don't geek out on all the stats, um, but I liked it. I, still, I like it, I recommend it to friends. And like I said, I bought a, I bought a second one to put in my put in here after the first one got, I, I believe, like I said, vandalized, or maybe I just got some bad fuel. I don't know, but we're going for season number two with it. So I like it. Uh, so on to other business. The other business, if you follow my Instagram, then you know that I got some free swag to give away. So you probably ask yourself, how do I get, hang on, how do I get one of these super awesome ADV with Roscoe sweatshirts? Hang on, Bobby. Or an ADV, ADV with Roscoe t-shirt. Here's how you do it. I would like you to share the video, but I can't tell if you share or not. So please share it with somebody. Uh, but leave a comment and put your shirt size. And I'll put all those people who left comments and put the shirt size. I'll put their name in a hat and we'll pull out a couple and we'll send them to you. Super easy. You have to be a subscriber. And just like I said, leave a comment, say your name, say your shirt size, I'll put it in a hat. And I want to thank everybody for watching. This, this giveaway is because I exceeded my expectations for the season, for the year. Hey, some people are probably laughing. Charles, you got 400 subscribers. Big deal. There's people that uh, get 70, 80,000 subscribers in a year. Most of those people are wearing bikinis. I don't look good in a bikini, so I'm struggling to get my 400. And I, but I'm happy with that. It's great. It, it's a giggle. So thank you, everybody, for subscribing. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh... Ski season's getting ready to start. 
So we'll start making some skiing and touring and watching Bob in the snow videos. Um, but I really want to say thank you to everybody that has plugged me on their channel. Uh, my friend Edward Shin, we became really good friends out of this. He's, he's plugged me on his channel, and man, I appreciate that. Uh, Casey from Coyote Works mentioned me in, in uh, one of his videos. Casey, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. So thank you to everybody. Um, it's been fun. And I hope my videos are getting better. I hope they're getting more entertaining. Um, I know I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and I guess that's all that really matters. I'm out here just having fun. So thank you, everybody. Until our next adventure, uh, get outside and get dirty, or get outside and get snowy. Either one. Just have some fun. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to see who wins uh, some of these shirts and sweatshirts. Thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Time to start putting the new one in.